Good morning. I'm not in my house waving a baby around. I'm in my voiture. A little bit of French for you, a little bit of en français. Did anybody notice last week? Oh, bless you. Yes. Did anyone notice last week the days of the week were in French? A couple of people commented. And did anyone notice the week before I did silly weekday names? I like to get my kicks where I can. <laughs> That's the kind of life I lead. So this week's video is going to be focusing on support. I like to theme the weeks a little bit because it gives me a bit of structure and helps me know kind of like where I want to go and what I want to film, etc. And we're starting off on um, a good bit for support. Am I buzzing? No. Um, because I'm just outside Boots and I'm actually going to go in there and buy a ton of drugstore makeup and send it to one of my favourite YouTubers. I tweeted the other day, and I've also tweeted about her before in the past, but hopefully you will know her, Christy from Raw Beauty Christy is one of my favourite beauty YouTubers at the moment. Um, she really is her name. She is Raw and she is a beauty um, and she my favorite sort of videos that she does are first impressions or like full face of first impressions or when she tries things on obviously um, like many youtubers she gets sent lots of PR samples to try and I just lost it when she tried a Dior spray foundation <laughs> I just really enjoyed it um, I've known her for a few years now because she lives near Marie in Seattle so I messaged her and said can I just send you a load of English stuff because obviously she just tries American stuff just for the joy of watching you try it all over your face I just enjoy it also it's very educational you get a lot of good tips and stuff so um, I'm gonna go in there and pick out a few beauty bits also um, it's currently six minutes past nine in the morning Darcy is going to be dropped off to this um, this shopping place Max is Rushton Lakes if you're a Northamptonshire based viewer it's very nice it's a new large retail park got House of Fraser, H&M, Next, Primark, Boots, M&S, very nice, very nice. Um, Darcy's dad is going to drop her here to meet me here to give to do the handover, the Darcy handover, so I shall be getting her. Um, and that is what our Monday is looking like so far. That has been a lot of chat from me. Let's go and live the day. So much fun picking, a t oh that's very loud Tanoi, picking a ton of bits. Hello you. I'm trying makeup on my hand. Oh lovely. I'm trying to pick her a foundation and we did talk about the healthy mix but these are the lighter shades I can see and I think that Christy's lighter than this. So Christy I just want you to know I am trying. How cute is this swimsuit for Pearl? I think it looks really calf kitsony. I love it. Let's see if they've got one in your size. Doodle McGee. You could be matching if you wanted. Yeah. Yeah? Let's okay. do it. Why must I be constantly disappointed? G. C. <laughs> I hope there's a D there for you. Do these glasses suit me, Darcy, or do I look like something out of Willy Wonka? A bit, a bit too much. A bit too much cool. That's me all over. We're going up to look at the homeware and I would like to know why, why is everything cropped these days? Cropped sweatshirts. The point of a sweatshirt is to keep you warm. Why would you crop it? You wouldn't crop a coat, would you? Winter coat. Imagine not having a choker. I would imagine next year it's going to be cropped winter coats. That's what the world's coming to. Whilst we were in Marks and Spencer, I picked up some easy lunch bits. Just checking on Pearl because I put her down for a nap. And I haven't heard from her. And as soon as I don't hear from her, it panics me. Which is ridiculous because sleeping is silent. Mums will get it. Let's see. She's fine. She manages to scooch herself all the way up. You know when you are in a terrible mood and you feel really down and low and crap? I've got that, but I know it's hormones. I know it is. I think, obviously, having the baby and your cycle changes and all that sort of stuff. Um, I'm just having a hormonal day and I'm trying really hard to like, not let it affect me. What I really want to do is like have a hot bath and a cry, but when you've got two children, it's just not really an option to be doing that. Um, so I'm keeping things upbeat. Darcy has just had a really nice time in the hot tub, which is lovely. Um, I've got the kitchen semi-tidy. Pearl is not settling for a sleep. Dinner's in the oven. So I feel like, yes, 
I'm keep, I've got a handle on everything, everything's going okay. It's just like on the inside, I'm feeling a bit meh. Um, and I wanted to share it with somebody. <laughs> my camera that's propped up on my Dyson V6. That's what my life has become. My neighbor went out in her garden earlier. I wanted to be like, come over and see me. I need some adult company. Um, I rang Esther and asked if she'd come round, but she can't because she's cooking her children garlic mussels and crispy hoisin duck. Cause that's the kind of woman she is. I was like, Esther, come over. She's like, I can't, I've got to get the kids tea. And I was like, bring them here. I'll give them some tea. I've got fish fingers. I've got chicken goujons. And she was like, no darling, I'm doing crispy duck and garlic mussels. I was like, of course you are. Of course you bloody are. Good Merry Tuesday to you. You are in a cupboard. Um, you might be thinking, wow, you look shiny. I've just done a big cleanse of my face and I've put a bit of highlighter on, liquid highlighter, because I'm gonna put foundation on over the top and then powder highlighter. I wanted to have like that glowy effect. I'm completely losing my pregnancy glow. <laughs> it makes me so sad. So I'm like finding cheap ways to get it back. <clears throat> anyway, um, Doodles over here, do a big wave. So, uh, is waiting for her breakfast. This is a little bit too tall, I've just done on tiptoes. Um, and we're going to use the cereal dispenser of dreams. I included this in a video a while ago and people just loved it. I'm gonna show you it if you are new or haven't seen it. Ta-da! This is just a plastic cereal dispenser. I bought it on Amazon a couple of weeks ago for under 10 pounds. It's just the most fun thing ever. It's like being in a hotel, isn't it, doodles? Ready, ready. Is that like a topping? Mm -hmm. Should I just do it? Do loads. Loads. Okay, Doodles is having cereal and watching Blue Peter. She loves Blue Peter. And I am going to do the laundry segment of the video. Everyone loves the laundry segment. Do you love the laundry segment? Do you love the laundry segment? Oh, the kitten's just so big now. Yeah. So we've got Milky just here and just down there i've got rocky i don't know where orbit is um but today on the laundry segment <laughs> today i should have like a nine oh that's a bit wonky isn't it i put you on a little box let's find a better box to put you on there we go um i should have like a 1950s tv show where if you look back at them they're always sim simple and like over like today on the 1950s laundry tv show like that anyway today um liam and i are going to london um i'll tell you what for later but he wanted to wear this shirt and he put it on last night to see if it looked nice i thought he was gonna wear and he found it had a mark on it and i was like don't worry babe i don't actually know what that mark is but i am going to do my whizzy trick that i did last last week or the week before you wet it and then you get some, so wet the the marked area. And then you get some of this stuff. You can either use, well, the last thing I used was this fairy stuff and it worked, but I've also got some of this vanish stuff and that worked too. So I'm gonna put a bit of that on it. Put a bit of that on it. Sort of smudge it all around. This is not what it says to do in the instructions, but this is what I did last time on a pooey, baby grow and it worked smudge it all about put that back in there just sort of fold that all over like so and then just pop it in your pop it in your wash i haven't tried much of the lenore blush one yet to be able to give a solid opinion but i have been using the lenore ruby jasmine i forget where i bought this actually it, it'll be like tesco or one of those sorts of places um this is so delicious this really does make a really nice smell on your clothes which i like a lot obviously i found my pearl unstoppables which is the pack of eating at the moment that's all open i just love these these are the best flavor and i've also now got aerial gel i was thrilled <laughs> this is such a geeky thing i actually got to work with them and do um, an instagram post for them by the time you watch this it will have been like a couple of weeks ago but obviously when that came in i was like yes yes i would like to work with ariel laundry and so many of you commented being like how thrilled we are that you're getting to work with ariel i was like well what have i become i just love the laundry um yeah that they didn't ask me to include this in this video it's just i wanted to because <sighs> you just know how i feel about laundry 
I ask this all the time, would you, you know I did that clean video for my kitchen, I'm thinking about doing one for the utility room, and an honest one as well, none of this like, oh I'm going to do a speed clean of a room that's already clean, like this room is not clean, look at all the junk that I've got in the sink, all of this, like, this could do with a better organisation, so um, I think that that's going to be the next one that I do, um, but I'm putting it off because I'll need like a good solid few hours to blitz this room and like organize it all and put it in pretty boxes and mm, laundry segment laundry segment i need a jingle for the laundry segment i'm going to be wearing this dress from joni um i thought it was black i can't tell if it's black or if it's navy or dark gray like my eyes are deceiving me um, and it's not the most like wowie out there dress, usually I wear a lot of colours but I'm still feeling quite self-conscious about just the way I look really, I'm very lumpy and bumpy and I'm feeling a bit conscious about that so I thought this would be nice, it's really floaty, it's got a pussy bow jobby here that you can do up, I think I might leave it undone, I'm not sure. Thinking about these shoes, they're from ASOS a while ago, I don't know if they'll still do them but if they, I'll have a look and if they do I'll link them below. Um, but maybe oh, i don't think i can cope with heels thinking these shoes if they go i'll i'll try the pairs then underneath potentially this bad boy i picked this up yesterday and it's just the most revolting thing i've ever seen if i'm quite honest with you size 20 shorts that suck you in wow i am oozing sex appeal right now but 96 percent of our test wearers saw an immediate reduction in measurements so I'm going to give it a go, but if this looks okay, sans sexy sexy shorts, I think I might not wear them. Um, I'll let you know. And bag wise, I'm taking an absolutely enormous bag because I intend to do a little bit of work on the train. Also we're taking snacks and wine on the train, we are making the most of our date night. So I'm taking this bag, this is from Kate Spade, I bought it um, with Esther when I went to London just gonna swizzy round and talk about the bag. I had a comment on my last video where I showed that I put my laptop and everything in it. It's massive, you can fit your laptop and folders and all sorts in it. And a girl said, I am really looking for a bag. Um, I'm starting uni, I'm looking for a bag. Hope it wasn't super expensive. I will say, yes, to, to my mind, this was super expensive. I can't remember off the top of my head how much it was, but it's in the hundreds range, which I think is an awful lot to spend on a bag. I know you can literally spend thousands on a bag. I don't have bags worth over a thousand pounds because at the moment I just think that's crazy. But if you like that sort of bags, I'm not, not, it's not a diss on you. You do you. Um, but I treated myself to this as a push present and it is amazing for bags and for folders and stuff. But if you are on the budget, I also recently treated myself to this bag. This bucket bag um, from Primark, I was just looking at the price there, it's silver on the inside, it would also fit your laptop and folder and stuff, and this was only £8. So two, I mean they're all very different aren't they, one's yellow and one's black for goodness sake, but two big bags, very different price points, just trying to accommodate everybody there. Um, but I love this, I think I will love it forever. Accessories wise, I'm thinking about these. I think I bought loads of accessories a while ago and haven't had a chance to wear them because this is a bit sort of mystical. Thought these might be fun, but I also want a chance to wear these at something. So I don't really, I don't really know. And lipstick colour I'm going for is this hot pink one because it's such a non colour dress that I feel like I want to go a bit crazy on the lips. Woo wee! I have had such an afternoon. Um, because I didn't have the children, I took the opportunity to work, work, work. I had two really good calls um and oh, i can't talk about it now or name names but i'm really excited because a brand has reached out to me that would like to work with me that are like my dream brand um so everybody cross your fingers please that um they go ahead with working with me and you know it becomes a thing because i'm really excited i know you'll be really excited too anyway so i'm on a bit of a buzz from like that potentially happening but i'm dressed and I wanted to show you what I'm wearing, but I want you to excuse all the mess in the background. Here we are, da da da, this is what I mean, excuse all that like clean washing and stuff that needs to be folded. Um, I'm wearing my little Joni dress. I bought this a while ago, um, but it might still be on the website, so do check it out. I decided not to go for the sucky in shorts things. I just thought, you know what, just let myself be a bit lumpy and bumpy. 
I've made two children, so I'm allowed to be. Um, I've gone for these shoes, which are super, super old from Monsoon a long, long time ago, so they won't still be on the website. Um, but I'm sure you could try and find shoes like this. Um, jewellery, I just went for that little bracelet um, just from Accessorize. And then, um, as you can see, I went for these earrings and pink lipstick. I feel really nice, um, which is nice because I don't know if I've been mentioning it much, but I have been feeling a bit like not nice about myself lately. I've just been feeling a bit self-conscious. So I feel really nice. I'm gonna put on my leather jacket with it because that's trendy. Um, and take my big handbag because I'm going to do a bit of work on the train. So I needed my big notepad and everything. Um, and we're also going to get some Prosecco. <laughs> so I'm having such a nice time. Makes me really nervous. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> oh, it makes me so tense. Cheers. Cheers. I so rarely get the cheese because I'm a travel snob and I get taxis so I feel more secure on taxis but Liam has convinced me to get the tube so I'm just blindly following you babe I don't actually know what what I'm, what I'm doing or yeah, where I'm going stairs. I can see the stairs not blind blind I just mean I don't know what direction we're going in I'm gonna rock your world I'm gonna rock my world wow Liam keeping it fresh <laughs> Liam just made a very convincing argument for the tube which is we didn't have to go outside so I didn't have to get my hair wet we sold it to me it was, a good, it was a good USP, I liked it. This is where Carrie's uh, launch is being held at the Hippodrome in Leicester Square. The bright lights of the city! Carrie's landing! Come to me. The wonder! The love! It is Can I'm I keep this in or do you want me to? No, keep it in! I miss just seeing it. Yeah. I'll come round and sing for you. Well, I did say to Liam, maybe she'll come round. I'll come I'll round and sing. Could you? And I've heard Darcy on your Instagram, so me and Darcy will do a little duet. I would weep. I would weep. Okay, alright. One of her admirers. Okay. I would weep. Cheers. I will happily, happily come over. Carrie, tell us all the name of your album. It's When the Curtain Falls. Where is it available to buy? When the Curtain Falls. Uk and iTunes. And iTunes. What about Amazon? No, you don't buy Amazon. I actually don't know. When the Curtain Falls. Uk. When is it out? Friday the 30th of March. As in this Friday. Is it Friday the 30th? No, but it's the 27th of today. Of March. Today it's the 27th. Do you mean Friday the 30th of April? 30th. So I said 13th. 30th. I've had a bubbly. I've had a good bubbly. I've had a good Buy it now. Are you having a lovely party? I am. Do you feel a bit yeah. like it's your birthday party? It feels a bit, it's like I'm sort of just being like dragged from, from people to be, I feel like I've not had a chance, so this is my first chance to be like, mm. is it a little bit shit? No, 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 I'm loving it. Everyone's shit. Everyone's a bit yeah. Everyone's a bit, yeah. Everyone's a bit, yeah. <laughs> just buy the album. Um, I've been hearing some of the things. Yeah. I was very excited to hear, and I asked them to turn me off. Oh, I can't, I, I've likened hearing myself she sing. She does Hercules. You know, the, no way, no, do you know what I was saying it? Just, um, is that. So, yeah, the, say, um, yeah. Hearing myself back is like a cheese grater to my soul. By the album, it's like a cheese grater to your soul. <laughs> Hoping it won't be to your soul, just mine, because I'm me. <laughs> In the goodie bag, which is the only reason I came. That's a joke. <laughs> I like mean, some, most people get it, but some people will be like, gosh, you're awesome. Um, there's the new book, also called When the Curtain Falls, and I'm having it signed. It'll be the first one I've ever signed. Is it actually the very first one? Genuinely, time? the first copy of this book. Like, this is the first time that I've. Proof copies were made, yeah. and the first time I ever saw them was when they were going into goodie bags for other people. I don't even have one of these. I'm so excited that I've got the first signing. Okay. I'd like you to send it out to Louise. The most beautiful, yes. what's your name again? It's Louise, the most beautiful woman in the world. Doing a little panning shot. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Yeah. It's a shame. Oh, actually, not a dream. Oh, they're taking down your stage. Was it wonderful singing on stage to everyone? It's absolutely terrifying. Is it worse when it's people that you know, that your friends rather yes. than like an audience? But it's also just me being me on stage. I hate it. With a oh yeah, because you're not being a character. Really from, like, there's nothing to hide behind. It's terrifying. Good morning. It's Wednesday and I am up. Um, I've done loads of work. I'm showered and dressed. Hello, are you awake too? It's 11 o'clock so she's had her morning now no, I'll just show you her. Hello my sweet. Hello gorgeous girl. Yeah, look at you so cosy. Are you just waking up? Um, I think a lot of you will ask where this is from. This was from my first years and you can personalise it. And your sizzling. Sizzling. Dish, dish, dish. <laughs> Good morning. I've got no idea how she's done this but she's wiggled her legs right up. <laughs> So what's happened here? You've gone all flopsy. What's all this? Uh, what's all this? You've gone all flopsy. <laughs> I don't know if you saw my Insta stories where I was basically like, send help. Um, I They go after 24 hours, but it will be in one of my playlists, probably mum life on my Insta. Um, but I'm slowly getting a bit more organised in here. It had just got completely out of control. Lots of you, when people say, well, how do you balance everything and get everything done? Well, the answer is there's huge areas of my life I don't get done. And the dressing room was just became like a pit for throwing clean clothes. We'd wash them and just chuck them on the floor. So I'm going to show you the progress I've made, but I know it's not done yet. So we have cut down on the inspiration rail. I'll explain more about this in another video, but it has a reason and purpose. I've made a bit of a system here because it was getting so hard to find sleep suits and vests, which is basically all she wears. Um, so sleep suits are in this one and vests are in this one. Pile of junk, pile of stuff. Um, over here, I've kind of divided. This is my to sort pile and this is another to sort pile, but mostly we're getting there. I really want to go through these cubby holes and arrange them because currently I'm just sort of folding and stuffing. Um, pearl stuff is completely organised and this bag is stuff that she's already growing out of, which kills me. Um, yeah, so progress is being made. It's morning milk time. It's 11am milk time and I'm really excited because I am going to watch the season finale of Mum. Has anybody watched that on BBC? It's so good, um, and Emma this morning, Brammy Mummy said that she watched it and cried. Are we gonna cry? You're gonna cry if I don't give you milk soon, aren't you? <laughs> You're just so cute. It's not wearing off. It's been 10 weeks now and I still can't bear it. That that you can hear there is the dulcet tone of my sweet baby girl who has not had a bit of a lunchtime nap. So we're going to my friend's house. The car's going to soothe you, isn't it? Oh, hello. The car's going to soothe her. Driving always does. Um, and it'd be nice to see my friend. I haven't seen her in a really long time. Nice to have a bit of a catch up and a chat. Um, oh my God, that silence is bliss. I had a whole thing I wanted to say about support and this friend of mine, um, Emma, we've both gone through divorces sort of at the same time. And so we support each other. Let's just get in the car and get this baby to sleep. <laughs> Look who's loving her life. This pearly girl in her shades having a walk. <laughs> Liam came home. I handed him all childcare duties. I've come up to my soft office. I have edited my real office tour, not my soft office tour, and that's currently uploading. And I am currently writing a dossier. Doesn't that sound professional? A dossier. I'm having a meeting tomorrow in London. I'm having two meetings tomorrow in London, but the second one is with the brands team um, at Gleam. Because I'd like to be working with some more brands this year. I would like to be working um, with specific brands I want to work with and specific ways that I want to work with them. Um, and I thought I would go in and meet with the brands team and let them know exactly what I'm looking for and what hopefully a brand um, can expect from me so I'm putting together a dossier of like all my thoughts and like some of my figures and yeah I'm just taking it a bit more seriously than I did last year. Last year I, 
Um, I hate this phrase, but I like took my foot off the gas, took my finger off the pulse. Basically, I was pregnant and just felt shattered all the time and mostly just laid in bed going, ugh, I feel so sick. But now, I'm going at it. Um, and I really want to get this channel some great brand partnerships and great collaborations because not only is that exciting and it allows me to do more than I normally would, it also brings money in to um, sprinkle of Glitter Limited so that I can afford to do more exciting things to make more exciting things out of. So, yeah, a bit businessy that was, wasn't it? So anyway, I'm making a dossier and I like the word dossier. The whole reason I turned the camera on is because I wanted to tell you how amazing Liam is. He brought me dinner up to my soft office. I love that man so much. <laughs> it's half past eight and the dossier is now eight pages. I've gone crazy. I'm gonna do this for half an hour more, print it all out, staple it all together, and then Liam and I are gonna get in the hot tub and have a bit of, not rewind, recline, re, gonna have a bit of, Relaxing time. <laughs> well, I bet this dossier is real good. Look. Yes. Isn't it lovely? I'm going to go and get in that. Can you even see the steam coming off it? I don't know what the camera can pick up. Oh, so relaxing. Good morning. I am off to London. I'm feeling the tiniest slither of apprehension. I just feel a bit uncomfortable in, like, my body. I'm wearing all like my stuff that I wore pre-pregnancy. I mean, I don't I just feel like everything's a bit tight, my jeans especially. And this is my first day, like a full day away from the baby that's just running around London, doing loads of meetings, yada yada. So I'm just feeling a little bit me. I wanted to start the morning off serenely walking through the streets of London. It's not happened. Oh, a bit late. Here, Charlotte. We're at Google. Oh, 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 swish, and I am, I'd say four out of ten sweaty, eight out of ten blisters, it's a good start. The question that we're all asking ourselves is, are all of these made out of post-it notes, or did they hire like an artiste to come in and do them? Look at that. Next time you get frustrated with Google or YouTube, just remember that they're employees are busy making Pikachu's out of post-it notes. This is Yalin from Google who is doing the meeting, but look at this. You, look at us just, we weren't expecting that. Where was Charlotte? Oh, I've been cut off. Yeah, it's for the best. <laughs> <laughs> just in the loo, exactly. I'm about to go and have another meeting with them, but that meeting that I just had with Google, Google, YouTube, same thing, was so good. It was so interesting to like really look into the analytics because I have access to them through like, the, when I log in, but I don't really fully understand what I mean. And the thing that I've taken away from it is loads and loads, but one thing I want to tell you about, 44% of people that watch these videos are not subscribed. Please could you subscribe? And not only subscribe, if you are already subscribed or you haven't, please click that little bell. The benefit of that for you is when I make a video, it will just ping up with a notification to let you know. I don't make daily videos, so you're not gonna get really annoying pings, um, but a lot of the time, people don't get the notifications because it's an algorithm and certain things and yada yada. So could I just implore you, if you're watching this, to subscribe and hit the bell. Um, it's great for you because you'll just be notified just the once. Um, and it's great for me because I'd like to like grow things and you know, I'd like you to come back again and again. So good. On that note, I'm going to have a tinkle. The best thing about coming to Gleam, apart from the people, obviously, <laughs> I have to say that because they're in earshot, um, is the PO box. Look at this, look at this, would you please? Right, I'm gonna insta story this as well because I'm so excited. Open this up like this, ready? You think it's just one layer of pure joy? One second, one second. It's not just one layer of joy, it's not just two layers of joy, it's three, isn't it? Look at that, for God's sake, I can't wait to get this home. Um, so thank you very much, Tart. Lady Vintage, I'm very excited to open that package. They do amazing dresses. And then this, AO.com, fun fact, that's where I got my washing machine and tumble dryer from when I moved into my house. I've sent all kinds of things. How lovely is this radio going to look in my kitchen? It's gold and pink. And this I'm excited about, one of these tile things that you put on stuff and then you, here, look, it says, 
Attach this to anything you don't want to lose for the precious things in life. Attach it to my kids. Haha, <laughs> not really. I'll attach it to my vlog cam. And then, always a treat. Easter eggs, these are from Lidl. Uh, and they've got sweets stuck in them. I'm having a great time. Thank you very much to all the brands that have sent stuff to my PO box. I've had my meeting and I'm just having a little nosy through, oh hang on I've got my little lip lines. I'm having a little nosy through everybody else's PO box stuff. Um, and I've come across these and I was like, wow, face jewels. I was looking and I was like, they are so cool. They're not face jewels. They're not for your face. I think the last thing I filmed was PO box stuff which was amazing. Um, but I am home and we got the three, like the 355 train home, it's about five o'clock-ish now. And I'm back with my babe. I'm the other babe who's opposite me. Um, and we've come to our favorite little pub, which is called The Greyhound, if you're in Northampton, Milton Mall, so it's very nice. Um, I'm gonna have some to eat. Just giving you a little view. While Liam goes to the loo. Nice, isn't it? Then down here we have Babe. Oh my god. This is a vegetable chalfrezi tiffin. He's gone for lasagna. Oh my god, I'm so ready for this. I'm so hungry. I didn't have any lunch today. <coughs> it's Good Friday today. So I am up early, got my face on. Good. Oh, it looks a bit palely pale under the eyes. I've actually put concealer on today. I don't normally bother with concealer, but. Yeah, what do you think? And I'm going to go and pick up Darcy from her dad's and we're going to go to a children's service at my church. Um, Darcy is going to do some filming for you because we're early for the children's service. Mummy, this is where you can put some music. Focus. a frantic tidy up aren't we Darcy Doodles? Yeah. She's putting the shoes away for me. Liam's upstairs hoovering. I'm tidying up downstairs. We have an interview today. We have a second interview actually with a nanny. Remember ages ago I said I really need some extra support. Theme of the week, support. Um, with, because I'm working full time and looking after Pearl full time because Liam works out of the house. Um, and obviously all my like Darcy bits. Darcy's the easiest. Doodles, did you hear that? You're the easiest child to look after. Really? Really? Yeah, oh, do you want to show them your tooth? Okay. Do you want to? You don't have to. I do. Do you want to? One, two, three. Look who's lost a tooth! Look at my little gappy! <laughs> so, we're having a big tidy up because we want her to not know how messy we are, <laughs> basically. Um, and I'm a little bit nervous because although I really want the support, and we decided that nursery for Pearl would not be a good fit for us at the moment, I just didn't. I no judge, basically what I'm saying is I don't judge anybody else for anything they do, but for us, I don't want to put her in nursery right now. Um, so I think a nanny, someone who's here when I'm here part time, would be good. Oh, what are they? Yes, we've got some multicolored pasta on the way back from church. Stopped at a little special shop, bought some rainbow sort of Eastery pasta. Yeah, so I'm frantically tidying up, and then this lovely lady's going to come round. And she'll be meeting the children today because she didn't meet them the first time we met her. And that's where we are with it all. Um, yeah, and it's pouring rain. I'll show you. Look at that. What happened to a little bit of spring that we were meant to be having? Here we go. Look at my little swimmers. We had a lovely meeting with the lovely lady, didn't we? There's a jumper for you. And we're going swimming. And look at Darcy's little cosy. This looks like it's Kath Kids and it's so lovely. It's actually from Boots. And you've got a matching one, haven't you? But she's not wearing her matching one today. She is going to wear, I will show you. Pearl is going to wear this swimming cozy. It's so cute. This is from Mother Care. It's a baby wetsuit. Um, and this bag actually is from Cath Kids. And I got it in the sale. So I don't know if they will still have it. But I really like it a lot. I like it a lot. So, an update on our adventure. We got in the car. Packed the girls in. Packed the swimming kits and all that jazz. And then... 
got a text that said, the pool is closed today till tomorrow, apologies. So, it's getting too late to go to a soft play centre, so we're going to the supermarket. Exciting! Here's a thing I've never seen before, roasted cauliflower steaks. They seek sound really nice, I like cauliflower, but they're two pounds for like two shreds of, two like steaks of it. How do you make this yourself, please? We've got overly excited by the old El Paso stuff and we're gonna have standard stuff tackles tonight. I'm gonna really take one for the team, babe, and I'll do the cheese and you do the refried beans. You've done a great job. cheese corn for anyone watching. So like grated cheese being poured out of a bag, out of focus. Mm. Oh yeah, delicious. It's our little setup. Got the candles on. Shall I dim the lights for some ambiance? Oh my gosh, look at that lighting. It's bedtime. It's this one's bedtime. Um, she's not sleeping in here, but we're gonna have our little Disney routine and have a little snuggle go to bed, pearls asleep. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. Um, I usually like to do like a nice key message at the end, but just a little bit frazzled today. Like I said, my head's not in the game. I'm sort of on weekend mode because of Good Friday. I will say today's theme of support, this week's theme of support has been lovely. Um, it was nice to support Carrie at her thing. It was nice to see my friend early in the week. Um, it was lovely to interview the nanny today and I think that she's going to be a good fit for our family which is exciting um, and just thank you all for your thought if you're thinking like why are you multicolouring it's my lights around here um, thanks as ever for all the amazing support that you give me I appreciate it so so much and like I said earlier if you are one of the 44% of people that watch these vlogs and isn't subscribed please do subscribe and hit the bell that's really important that's something I learned in that meeting at Google is hitting the bell is important and in my midweek videos I'm going to start introducing myself at the beginning so if you're thinking but I know you I watch these videos it's for the new people because from looking at all the figures the people that watch these videos are people that come back week upon week upon, upon week who know me but the people who watch the midweek videos are often new people so just that you know, I'm going to be being like, hi, I'm Louise. Um, just so that, just, I just like to keep you in the loop. Anyway, I will leave it there. Goodbye from me. Goodbye from this one. Are you Bye. asleep? Oh no, you're still awake. Um, goodbye from Pearly Well. Goodbye from all of us. And I'll see you on Monday for the start of another, well, I won't see you on Monday. I'll see you for next video. I'm, I'm just going to stop. Mummy's gone mad, Darcy. Mummy's gone mad. <laughs> see you later. Bye. Some news. Yes, what's the... I lost my first tooth. Her first tooth fell out this weekend. No, not this weekend, this week while you're at Daddy's house. Mummy, feel, I feel like it's the weekend. Yeah, me yeah, too. Yeah, it's hard to tell the difference when you're on holidays. Right, see you later. Love you lots. Enjoy this video. Thumbs up, blah, blah, blah. Support, support, support. Bye. Bye.